These instructions are for any remote access using a wired sensor or device. Autoslide offers optional wired infrared and microwave sensors. See autoslide.com under Products in the drop-down menu for accessories. The sensor can be mounted on the door frame on the inside and outside using the provided screw fittings. Once you unclip the board and the sensor, you will see these indentations for the fixings and cable. These can be drilled or pushed out with a screwdriver. You may also need to drill a hole in the door frame to feed the cable to the auto slide drive unit. The sensor cable plugs in on the unit here. and in the sensor itself. Once plugged in, the sensor can be adjusted to get the right angle like this. To adjust the length of the beam, move your hand the required distance from the sensor that it is needed to work and adjust with a screwdriver until the beam length is reached. This is the adjustment point on the infrared sensor. This is the adjustment point on the microwave sensor. Place the pet sensor mat under your existing doormat and plug it into the transmitter. Have your door learn the pet mat. You can do this by pressing the learn button on the panel. The red light will come on. Put weight on the pet mat and the learn button will flash three times. Now put weight on the pet mat again and the red light turns off having successfully synced with your pet sensor mat. Have your pet walk to the door and make sure the mat is in the right location for your pet to open the door. Once the location is in the preferred position for your pet to activate the mat, use a small amount of adhesive tape around the perimeter of the mat to stop any future movement of the mat. The transmitter white box is fitted by the double-sided tape to the frame or somewhere convenient. Once you have clipped off the cover of your sensor, pull the sensor head to one side and allow the battery to fit. Plug the battery into leads attached. Tuck battery in behind sensor head. Sensor blue light should now start flashing. The light glows whilst it is detecting body heat. Before refitting the cover, you will need to make sure the sensor is set to the mode you want to use it for. That is either pet mode or normal mode. On the board, you will see these three pins labeled pet and master. The black pin selector as seen here must be placed on the pin you need. In this example, we have placed it on the pet pin. So now it will work in pet mode. Refit the sensor cover and check field of activation is still working with the light coming on. Attach your wireless pet sensor near the floor on the door frame at the correct height for your pet using the supplied fixings. For a standard sensor, place it on top of the door frame. If you have not set up pet mode, do so now by turning the Pet Learn Dip Switch 3 on and off. Now as the door opens, stop at opening with your hand at the width that is enough for your pet. This is how much the door will open when your pet uses the sensor. As this sensor runs on batteries, an on-off has been fitted to the side of the sensor. Turning off the sensor when not in use will extend the life of the battery. Remember, turning off the power to the main motor does not turn off this sensor. For the sensor to work with your auto slide, it will need to learn it. Press the learn button on the panel. The red light will come on. Wave your hand in front of the sensor, making sure the blue light is glowing. Now press the learn button on the auto slide panel. This red light will flash three times. Now wave your hand in front of the sensor again and the red light turns off, having successfully synced with your sensor. You can adjust the angle of the beam like this. To adjust the length of the beam, move your hand the required distance from the sensor that it is needed to work and adjust with a screwdriver here until the beam length is reached.
The V2 remote is learned by the auto slide in the same way as any other remote. Press the Learn button on the panel. The red light will come on. Press the Remote button and the Learn button will flash three times. Now press the Remote button again and the red light turns off, having successfully synced with that remote. The remote control has four buttons, which have different functions. This button, with an asterisk, is used to change modes. The modes are Auto, Green, Hold Open, White, Off, Red, and Pet, Green. By pressing this button, you can scroll through to select the required mode. The two middle buttons with the arrow sign opens the door for people. The top button with a paw print opens the door for your pet. This button only works in the pet mode. The wireless push button remote is learned by the auto slide in the same way as any other remote. Press the learn button on the panel. The red light will come on. Press the remote button and the learn button will flash three times. Now press the remote button again and the red light turns off, having successfully synced with that remote. 